Hi, my name's Teresa, and you're watching Between Two Wheels. So hi, everybody. This is my 30th video in 30 days. Yes, one take, no editing, I did it. So I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, you've watched some ups and downs in this uh, 30 days. It, it has been um, quite a little journey for me. I, I didn't expect maybe to feel um, as emotional as I, I did and do and continue to. I, um, I really think it has changed me. I've talked about things in the past 30 days that I have not talked about in 16, 17 years. So first off, I encourage anybody, if you want to do, if you're interested in starting videos or even for a business or to talk to family, whatever, however you use this, um, it's it's something. I, I would encourage anybody to do it. Um, took me out of my box a little bit, and I love going outside of the box and um, trying new and different things, so I'm glad that I um, made the commitment and that I did it. So here I sit in this comfy chair that I referred to in a lot of videos. Um, you know, sitting in a wheelchair all day, um, can be really tough on your body and by the end of an evening I get a little I'll say antsy you know um, and so I, I use this chair as some therapy as well I sit in this in the evening and I'm able to elevate my feet and um, that's a good thing because with my feet hanging all the time and you know not moving I can create some problems. I'm blessed that I am not, I don't swell my feet. You know, a lot of people in wheelchairs, their feet swell and things, um, and their ankles and lower calves, they have problems and muscle sores and stuff. Um, I don't, so I'm really grateful. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, there are three places that I am in all the time, my wheelchair, my bed at night, I don't sleep in that or lay down throughout the day. And then this chair, this comfy chair, as we call it. Um, so yeah, here I am. Um, I'm still I'm still experiencing some back pain. Um, and today I had some physical and occupational therapy. And it kind of wiped me out, to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty uh, tired and fatigued. So here I sit. So the last video, I said I would tell my story. So here's my story. Um, going back about 18 years ago, I started, I was living in the South, I was living in Florida and I was walking um, and my foot started to get a little numb and tingly. And I, it, when I would be on my feet all day, or running or you know really really like it would be a humid and hot day um, my foot would start to flop a little bit and you know I was young I was 28 or something and I was you know healthy and everything so I of course I just left it go and then I started to experiment experiments experience some Num numbness and tingling in my fingers and that was all on the the left side and then I started and when I'm saying then this is probably over a course of six months a little bit of numbness and tingle in my cheek and below my eye and it was weird so to be honest I let all this go for at least two years and it just got increasing, increasingly worse the more I would fatigue my body. Um, when I would wake up in the morning, for the, probably for the first year and a half, I didn't experience any kind of 
um, feelings or sensations. It would just be when my body would be really fatigued and, um, you know, because I was on the go all the time and I, I was working as a, I, my profession was a veterinarian technician and, you know, lifting animals and always on the go. And, you know, so I let it go for a really long time. And, um, and then vertigo started to come into play and my balance. And then I had to readjust my gait because my foot was flopping and just things like that. Um, so I went to my doctor, he did some x-rays and some things and then suggested I go to an orthopedic surgeon, went to him, we did an MRI, some x-rays, um, different things. And then he suggested when he didn't see anything in my x-rays in the back and things, um, he suggested a neurologist. So I go to a neurologist, we do more testing. Um, this is all over about a, a four or five month period. Um, the MR, I mean, the, the neurologist, we did everything from, you know, blood work to different tests and uh, more MRIs, more x-rays, uh, a spinal tap, um, just a whole line of things. And then I got the call that day to come into the office and he told me that I had multiple sclerosis. Um, yada, yada, yada. 16 years later, here I am um, with uh, primary progressive multiple sclerosis. Um, and that's kind of all I want to talk about my story right now. I know I yada yada the best part there, but uh, um, yeah, so it's been, it's been quite a journey. Um, but you know what? I look at it like my, that's why I, earlier on one of the videos I talked about fighting, like when somebody refers to like, keep the fight, keep fighting. Um, I look at it like, I mean, and people that believe that and want to use that word to, you know, let's fight this MS or like, that's cool. That's good for me though. Fighting my multiple sclerosis is just a big waste of energy for me. And you know, through all this, how much energy, I mean, I talk about energy all the time, you know, because we are all ultimately energy that, that you can't deny. But um, yeah, so fighting my multiple sclerosis is, is a waste of energy. Um, I look at it like only by embracing only by embracing it, I've learned life's greatest lessons. And I, like I mentioned, it's made me, I think, a better person. And, uh, yeah. And it all comes down to what I said, it, I think, at the very first um, video and every video since there, where it comes down to a choice. Everything in life is a choice, how we're going to deal with what we are dealt, you know? Um, so that's where happiness is a choice comes into play with me. And acceptance, acceptance of everything in my life and just being grateful because I always know things could be so much worse. Um, so the takeaway, like if I would have, like, I'm a big goal setter. So my goal in all of this was to just kind of foster, foster a positive spirit and, and of gratitude, of acceptance, of knowledge. Like I hope maybe just someone, anyone learned something from these videos, maybe something about living life in a wheelchair or the multiple sclerosis, or just be down or just realize like, wow, I have a lot to be grateful for in my life, you know? Um, 
because I'll tell you, I'm just going to say one more thing and then get off of here. Because enjoy every moment in your life. You know, right here, right now, as you're looking at me, just stop and enjoy the moment. You know, take a deep breath and just fill it, your fill your lungs with love, gratitude, um, and just overall joy of what you're able to do. You know, these 30 days have taught me like, I keep saying like the things that I can't do, the things that I'm not able to do anymore, even opening up a door, you know, you turning a doorknob. But then there's all the other things that I am able to do. And I focus on that. That's what I focus on, all the things that I'm still able to do. Um, so thanks again for coming on this ride with me. I'm not going to commit to any kind of schedule. I'm not saying this is going to be my last video. I don't think it is, but as far as right now, I just don't know what what the course is, and I don't want to, again, I don't want to commit to once a week or, or something, because the next videos, these were 30 days of one take, no editing, just get on here and say whatever I say, but the next round of videos, I really want to do some editing, take you to the gym, do some things, you know, incorporate pictures. And uh, I can't do that with a daily thing because it's truly, it's, it's really been, it has required a lot of energy every day. And with what I've been through with the steroids and just all the doctors and just everything this month and now my back, it, it's, you know, but it's all good. Um, thank you to everybody. My Facebook friends, a lot of you, I have known my whole life and high school friends and Florida friends and, you know, my friend, my local friends around here. Thank you for all the love, the support, the kind emails that I've received um, when I'm out and I see people. I just saw someone today that said, I watch your videos and they've taught me so much about MS and appreciating life. And that really makes me feel good. It really does. So Thank you so much, and um, you're probably going to hear from me again. And if you please tell people, if you know somebody who is in a wheelchair, you know somebody who has MS, you know, just diagnosed or not even diagnosed, but please, you know, I'm, I'm not going to stop this. So, again, my Facebook, I'm on Facebook. I'm... I have a Twitter account, but I really don't use it. I'm not a big Twitter fan. Um, and email it between two lines, but between two lines, between two wheels at gmail.com. You can get in touch with me and ask questions. And, you know, I really want to get more into like the, the, the keep yourself moving and fitness aspect of, of MS and wheelchairs and the food aspect, how important that is. And I, you know, I just, I would have talked every day about the food and my, my lifestyle and, you know, my, just my whole lifestyle now that it's the small things and it's, you know, less is more. And, uh, for me that is so peace and love, my friends. Thank you for everything. Remember, be grateful for everything. And it all comes down to a choice. And today I choose happy. Happiness is a choice. So much love. Bye.